get ready. Nothing says quintessential dark ride like a voyage on Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. It's the classic attraction that probably springs to mind when you think of a boat ride. The attraction has been replicated in five of the Disney parks across three continents. The original, of course, comes from the park that started it all, Disneyland. Pirates of the Caribbean opened to the public all the way back in March 1967. It's hard to imagine this as anything but a classic boat ride, but it was originally envisioned as a walkthrough attraction. This would most likely have consisted of pirates made of wax acting more like a museum rather than a ride. Thankfully for us, the visionaries at Walt Disney Imagineering changed their mind on the original concept, although this was really thanks to another classic attraction that many will know. It was It's a Small World that premiered at the 1964 New York World's Fair that really helped popularize the idea of an indoor boat ride. The ride proved so popular at the fair that it was decided that the concept should be replicated for the California park. The concept has predominantly stayed the same across the various Disney parks, albeit with a bit of an upgrade for the Shanghai Disneyland version, which opened in 2016. It's fair to say, though, that Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean has seen its fair share of copycat attractions. It's a testament to this attraction that to this day, there's still examples of this ride being replicated. And that's not to say that these attractions aren't good in their own right, they just have their inspiration on their sleeve. Before we jump into the video though, please take the time to press the like button as well as subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We put out new videos every single week. But anyway, let's take a look at three examples of copycat attractions. Get ready. Number one, Pirate Adventure, Drayton Manor, 1990 to 2015. Pirate Adventure at Drayton Manor was a classic dark ride in the UK attraction lineup. It might even have been considered the UK's answer to Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean based on the ride's concept and design. It definitely took some liberal inspiration from its source material and it didn't take a Disney enthusiast to figure it out either. Many scenes depicted throughout the 6.5 minute ride were replications of the classic Disney attraction. This included a scene depicting a village ransacked by pirates, a sea battle that riders sail between, and prisoners trying to coax an animal to provide them with keys to their cell. Instead of a dog though, the animal was a goat in this version of the ride. This indoor boat ride opened in 1990 and operated for 25 years before closing. For its time and for the ride was located, it was generally well received. The UK is known for not having too many dark rides, so an indoor boat ride was something of an anomaly. As it aged though, the ride started to lose some of its charm. Instead of being a well done knockoff, it began to deteriorate and lose some of its polish. With the recent investment Drayton Manor have put into retheming their current attraction lineup, it would be interesting to consider what it could look like today. But alas, for now, it's just another UK dark ride lost to the hands of time. Number 2 Ikrasari, Gardaland, 1992 to present day. Ikrasari is another example of an indoor family boat ride that most likely wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. The original version of Ikrasari took many liberties from its source material. Similarly to Pirate Adventure, there was a scene featuring a village with animals as well as a sea battle the track would flow between. Pirate skeletons would also feature throughout, giving some of the more horror elements of the Disney attraction. The ride has since gained some notoriety based on one terrifying animatronic. Although Gardaland may not be known hugely on an international level, one sea monster featured in this ride has gone viral. It has the body of a sea serpent but the face of a human man and it's absolute nightmare fuel. The original version of the ride ran from 1992 to 2018 before the ride went down for a substantial refurbishment. Similarly to Pirate Adventure, the attraction had started to show some wear and tear, but instead of shutting the ride, it reopened with some new and modern additions. The new version further embellishes the spooky aspect of the pirate tale, following a more ghostly theme. In a move that probably resembles that of Shanghai Disneyland's pirates, the ride now deploys several screens. The screens add to the narrative, while projection mapping further helps immerse riders into their surroundings. Interestingly, the ride also uses the voice of Pietro Ubaldi. He has provided the voice of Captain Barbosa in the Italian dub versions of the Pirates of the Caribbean films, as if the inspiration wasn't clear enough. 
Number 3. Pirates of Batavia, Europa Park, 1987 to present day. Pirates in Batavia at Europa Park is the oldest ride to feature on our list, but is probably the best of the bunch. The attraction has a bit of a troubled history however. In May 2018, a devastating fire saw the whole attraction burn to the ground, as well as a portion of the Scandinavian area of the park. However, the ride was completely rebuilt from the ground up and is now one of the best dark rides in Europe. The attraction takes guests on a boat ride through the Dutch colonised Indonesia. It therefore has a more eastern theme than the standard tropical feel of Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. Although with that said, there's definitely some concept and scenes which seem to directly correlate to the classic Disney attraction. The ride features similar scenes including a pirate raid on an Indonesian village. Pirate prisoners are also seen locked in cells at one point. Of course, many of these are general stereotypes for pirate behaviour. But without the Disney version we probably wouldn't have this attraction today. And another obvious influence is the fact that Pirates in Batavia also features a point where the ride travels through a restaurant. Both the original Disneyland and Disneyland Paris Pirates have restaurants inside the ride. People eating can watch as riders leisurely flow through the restaurant during their pirate voyage. Although it's an obvious copy, the ambience found in Bamboo Bay and Disneyland's Blue Bayou make for a very enjoyable experience. Despite these rides having obvious influences, each are or were good attractions in their own right. We're very fond of the original attraction, so we see no harm in replicating a classic. And if you enjoyed this video, check out another example of rides that copied the Haunted Mansion, which will be on screen now. What other pirate boat rides have you been on that have a striking resemblance to the Disney classic? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And now you're ready 